I'm Matt Johnson. I'm a physical therapist and fellow in training with IMPACT. And today we're going to demonstrate a needling technique for the sternocleidomastoid. So the SCM has been identified as a muscle that commonly refers pain to the head in headache patients um, due to active trigger points. So that's why we chose this muscle. Uh, the sternal portion of the muscle commonly refers to the occipital region or the temporal region on the same side. It can also, also wrap around the eye like that, like a C. Uh, and the clavicular portion more commonly refers to either a frontal region, most commonly also on the same side. Patients can also complain of pain in the ear or behind the ear. Now those are the most common commonly reported referral patterns for the SEM, although patients may have more vague symptoms anywhere around the head or face. Um, the, key, the key point is to identify the trigger point and see if palpation of that refers to their head. So we'll go by a step-by-step -step process of identifying these trigger points in the SEM. So first thing first, you can have your patient uh, lay supine on the table. You can have them gently lift their head off, off the table. So I'll go ahead and do that, Laura. You should see that muscle kind of pop, pop up right away. Go ahead and do it one more time gently. Good. And with her, you can pretty clearly see both heads of the muscle. So first, we can come down here. We can palpate where both the muscles come together, and then palpate down to the sternal attachment here on the manubrium. We can also follow down this way through the clavicular portion. So we just identify where our muscle is. Uh, Next, we're going to look for our carotid artery, because when we needle, we're going to avoid that. So we'll come in here, we'll palpate it down just above the clavicle. Good. And I feel a pulse there, so we know where her carotid artery is. Secondly, we're going to look for the external jugular vein, which is going to be found laterally on the neck. So if you have a patient that it's kind of hard to identify, there's two techniques you can use. You can either have the patient take their fingers and blow between their fingers. So go ahead and try that. Good. And sometimes that will help the artery, the excuse me, the vein to stick out. Or you can come over it and just do a, a gentle stroking motion like this and try to get it to pop out a little bit. So with Laura here, we can identify the vein to be right here. So those are two of our major landmarks uh, we want to try to avoid while we're needling to prevent uh, any bruising or hematoma. So we've got those landmarks. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and palpate the muscle. So we're gonna use a pincer palpation. So I'm gonna go two fingers here. I'm gonna start up by the mastoid attachment. And I'm just gonna run along the muscle like so I'm pinching it and rolling it between my fingers. What I'm looking for is a taut band in that muscle tissue, and possibly when I roll over it, you'll get a little twitch response just from that. Also looking at the patient to see if she's grimacing, see if I find any painful areas. So I'll go ahead and ask Laura if you can tell me where you feel the painful uh, pressure point, and if that pressure point refers pain to the head, and that's the ideal situation. So go ahead and tell me anything there. Right there. Okay, so there may be multiple trigger points within that top band, so you want to make sure you palpate the whole length of the muscle, and you're trying to identify the most painful trigger point, again, which ideally refers, reproduces the patient's head symptoms. So, tell me, is that worse? Or that one? The first one. First one. Okay, and if I press there, tell me what you feel. Pain up there. Okay, so we identified a trigger point in this top band of muscle here. It's painful to palpation locally, and it's also reproducing her headache symptoms. So that's where we want to go. So we identified our landmarks, we found our trigger point referring to the head. So now we're ready to needle it. Get our needle. And the technique for this. If I'm doing, if I'm a right-handed needler and I'm going contralateral side, I prefer to do 
my okay sign with my hand. It's a pincer type of grasp on the muscle. I'm gonna pull it off of her neck, and then I'm gonna come around the front this way, resting my arm on her opposite clavicle, supporting uh, my arms on the table, and kind of getting close to her head so both me and the patient are comfortable when I do this. So again, we'll find that trigger point. I'm going to pull the muscle off, so I know I'm not pulling that carotid artery with it. It's going to stay over more immediately, so I can avoid that. So come around the front. Place my tube down. Tap in. So now you tell me if you feel any local pain and uh, and or referral to your head. So what I'm looking for is reproduction of the patient's symptoms and a twitch response. We're getting a little twitch there. Any symptoms? It's more local. Local. So if, if you stop getting that twitch response, you can stop for a second, reposition, try to repalpate, find that trigger point. You can angle your, your needle towards that trigger point. How about there? So I'm going to needle until that twitching response fatigues. And once it's done so, which we'll stop there, I'm going to come out and apply my hemostasis. So again, when you needle, your objective is to elicit that twitch response. That's a spinal cord reflex, and it's been identified to be necessary in order to relax that trigger point. So I'm going to needle until that, that twitch response stops.